to create a successful business. The money used to start or expand a business is capital. And that's our first vocab word. It's capital is the money used to start or expand a business. Different people have different ways of raising that capital. One, it could be from their own savings. Two, if they own a home, they could put a second mortgage on the home or they could use the equity in their home, as we talked about before, to give them a chunk of money to start a business. Or they can reach out to people to invest in it. They can find investors. But all of that, the money that makes it start, is known as the capital. A sole proprietorship is a business that is owned by one person. Liability. If you are making those Frisbees or selling those chocolate chip cookies, then you want to make sure that you are a li limited liability corporation. It's known as an LLC. It's very easy to do. It's quick. Uh, they show commercials on TV all the time. You can even Google it and say what's involved in making one an LLC. And all it is is you're getting registered as a company, which then, if anything happens, let's say again, that person cuts their hand on your Frisbee, the only thing that anybody can sue you for is whatever you have in the business itself. It cannot go to your personal side. It cannot go to your house. It cannot go to your personal finances. Public corporation. That's a business whose shares that are available to anyone. Not all corporations are public, and usually it's a big decision whether a corporation wants to go public or not. Your bigger corporations, uh, ones that just recently went public in the last year or two, would be uh, Uber is a perfect one, and Lyft. They were originally private companies, so only the people who started those companies had shares in the company, essentially. They're the, they were the sole owners. You as an individual couldn't buy a share of Uber and you couldn't buy a share of Lyft. However, they decided to go public, which means then they open up their shares to be able to be purchased by other people. So and essentially other people are now going to invest in their company and generate money. So it's usually a big decision for a company to do it. They wait till they get large enough so that it's more profitable for them to open it up than it is to keep it to themselves. A business whose shares that are available to anyone is a public corporation. Now, when they do go public, it's known as an IPO. It's the initial public offering. And that's when a corporation first becomes public and owners sell their shares. At that point, ownership transfers from one person or partnership to the public. Talking about stocks, is the number of shares bought and sold, which is also called traded, in a time period. So volume means a lot of different things in school, right? It means how loud something is, it means three-dimensional space and geometry, uh, but in this case volume means if Apple had 300 people buy shares and 200 people sell shares and all the, that's 500 for a volume right there but it happens so much that you add up all those transactions in the in the trading of those is adds up to become the volume that's what it's saying that this particular stock had a high value of $84.50 and a low value of $77.24 because this number is on the left that means this is what it opened at it opened at $82.18 and it closed at $80.38. And here's where we put that information down. Now the way you would interpret this is since the stock opened higher than it closed, it means this stock lost money. So if people had stocks invested in this particular, whatever stock this represents, it opened higher than it closed for that particular day or week or month, so over that time period, the stock had lost money. Here's example two. These numbers are the same numbers from the target stock up here. Same exact values. The open, the high, the low, and the close. So this was the target stock represented in chart form. Here's what it would look like as a bar graph. So once again, 
the stock opened at 100 or had a high value of $106.50. It had a low value of $103.89. Because this number is on the left, that means it opened at $104.50 and closed at $106.10. So you can see how these open and close lines are like handlebars that are moving up and down on the scale. So as a result, this is how you would interpret this. Since the stock opened lower than it closed, it means this stock made money. People who had money in Target stock on the 24th of April made money. Information interpreted as a candlestick chart. So the candlestick chart is kind of done a little differently. It's based on color. So here's a candlestick chart. It still has the high value at the top, the low value at the bottom, and then it's going to have a close and an open. In this case, since the close is higher than the open, it means this particular stock made money. So the way they indicate that it makes money is by the color of it. Black or green fill means the stock made money. If it made money, then the close will be higher than the open. White or red fill means that the stock lost money. So if it lost money, it means the open is higher than the close. So that means this number up here would represent what it opened at, and this number would represent what it closed at. So you have to go based on the color. So here it is in black and white, and this is what it would look like with the green and the red. So here we go to our examples. Here's example one. Since this is colored in red, I know that means it opened higher than it closed. So this number would have to be the open number, and this number would have to be what it closed at. So once again, the high is 84.50, the low is 77.24. But this stock opened at 82.18, and it closed at 80.38. Once again, the interpretation, the stock is red, so it lost money. That means it opened higher than it closed. Therefore, the 8218 has to represent the open value and the 8038 represents the closed value. Okay, here's our target stock once again, represented as a candlestick. Notice it's green because it made money. So because it's green and it made money, that means it closed higher than it opened. So that would mean the 106.10 is the close value and the 104.50 is the open value. And once again, with a high of 106.50 and a low of 103.89. And you can do this a couple of ways. You can just type in target and you'll see the first thing that comes up, target corporation, it's TGT. Now after a while, if you got familiar with target, you could just type in TGT. But if most people don't know the symbols for businesses, I certainly don't know most of them. So I just type in the whole corporation and then it, it shows me TGT. So I'll click on that one and here it is, Target Corporation. So remember, if you own stock in Target Corporation, which is a chain of retail stores all over the world, then you actually own part of the company. There isn't an owner of Target. There's not a guy who or a woman who owns Target. There's a millions of people who have stock in Target and we all share ownership in it. I say we, that does include me, I don't have Target stock. I don't have any stock. All right, so here's what's happened today. So you notice we're about halfway through the day, right? So it started off at 9.30 in the morning. It gained some value. See the price going up. Gained, lost, gained, lost. This happens all the time. I feel like if I owned stock, I'd be constantly looking at this and wouldn't be able to concentrate on anything else but so it's kind of gone up and down and hopefully it ends higher than it started but right at this moment well now it's a minute later as I said 1218 now it's last data I think was 1219 but the open for the day was 11151 which was can't even get that far back on this because it's so but it says it right here, 111.51 when it opened this morning. So it opened at 111.51. The lowest it got throughout the day was right 
there. It's hard to see because it took a little nosedive right there and then it went back up, but that's the lowest. Now it's really hard to read that even if you're on this little scroll bar here. So here's the, a big key. If you can go to historical data and click on that, today is April 28th when I'm recording this. We already know the open was 111.51. The lowest it got in that, that dip, where it dipped down, here it tells us, 110 and 11 cents. So the lowest was 110 and 11 cents. The highest it got was 112.75. And it hasn't closed yet because it's only not even 12.30 in the afternoon and it doesn't close till four o'clock. So that's, there's two ways you can do it. You can look at this screen and go back and forth. You can even click on this one more time and it opens up into a bigger, a little bit less glitchy, larger graph. And you can see back and forth, but you can also go to historical data, which flat out tells you open, high, low, close activity, but that is the introduction to Yahoo Finance and how we read the actual charts. Mm -hmm.